But the price of those drugs don't matter if you can't get the medication. Some drugs are experiencing a shortage, including ADHD medications. And with school back in session, that's causing some parents to scramble to find the right meds for their kids. Our Griffin Wright joins us live this morning with more on this. Griffin, good morning. Good morning, Kaylin. So this has been an ongoing problem for months. The reason why ranges from uh, supply chain issues to just more people in general being prescribed to ADHD medicine. Now, parents will often try to switch their child's medicine to a similar one that is in stock, but that can come with its own problems. We run into situations where that medication that they've been pretty well stabilized on is not available at the time. So we work with their physician healthcare provider to try to find alternatives. Uh, sometimes that works and sometimes it doesn't work as well because when a child could be really maintained well on a specific med and if you have to change sometimes there's a little bit of an adjustment period for these meds to work better. So um, it's, it's kind of a trial and error basis right now to find the right med if, if their current medication is not available. Pharmacists recommend calling three days before you run out of medicine to make sure they can get the order filled or if it's out of stock that gives you time to find either another pharmacy that has the medicine or work with your provider to find a similar medication to switch to. And if the worst case scenario does happen and your child has to go without their meds for a day or two, there are things that you can do to help them prepare. Best thing you can do is just is talk to your child, say like, hey, you know, today we're not going to have medication, so you know, it's not it's a good idea to let them know. I've had parents actually say they, you know, they're in regular contact with their school with their teacher uh, through like email or, or what have you, and so like giving them a heads up so they have they understand that like it's like it's okay, we're just out today, but we're going to be back tomorrow, just to give them that kind of grace for what's happening. Now, another thing that happens is sometimes the generic version is out of stock of a drug, uh, but they still have the name brand version, and that can get really complicated and expensive, uh, all depending on insurance. Now, experts say they expect this shortage to actually continue at least through the end of the year. Okay, we'll be watching to see what happens. A lot of people use these medications and really helpful for students once they go back to school. So Griffin Wright reporting live for us this morning. Thank you, Griffin.